Hello preschool friends, this is Miss Kate with Preschool at Woodland. How are you doing on your staycation? I still miss you to pieces. Did you like my Grover story last week? I hope you did, he's one of my best friends. Today, I'm also not dressed up. Miss Kate's changing things up. Today I wanted to tell you about where I went. I went on a field trip, a safe place where I can go during staycation. Maybe you could go with your parents too. I went and I picked strawberries. We went and picked strawberries and we didn't get close to anybody. We kept our hands clean and we had a great time picking strawberries. And it got me thinking about my daughter Hayes' favorite book. Her favorite book is something that I want to read to you today because it deals with strawberries. Won't you join me? The name of the book that I'm going to read with you is called The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. It's by Dawn and Audrey Wood, and it's illustrated by Dawn Wood. Come along. Let's see what this mouse gets into. Well, hello, little mouse. What are you doing? Look at his fancy little hammock over there, and he's also got a ladder. Do you see this over here? I wonder what he's going toward. Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red, ripe strawberry? Kind of like Miss Kate did. What color is that strawberry? It's a big, beautiful red color. See how it's red all the way around and it has a green top? Oh. I think he's going to pick that red ripe strawberry. That's why he's got his ladder with him. But, but, uh, little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Oh, look at his face. I'm not sure he has. Oh, how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. I think he's getting scared now. Look at his tail go. The big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away. Oh, that mouse is shaking that strawberry now. This would be the mouse if he had it. Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm so scared. It's red and ripe. The bear's going to get me. Especially one that has just been picked. You mean like this one that Miss Kate just picked? Oh, he's getting a little nervous now. Boom, boom, boom. The bear will tromp through the forest on his big, hungry feet and <laughs> sniff, sniff, sniff that red ripe strawberry. He will find that strawberry no matter where it is hidden. Now Miss Kate hid her strawberry. Can you see it or did I do a pretty good job? I think I did a pretty good job of hiding that strawberry or who is guarding it attention this is miss kate guarding all my strawberries not a one can get past the big hungry bear or how it is disguised now you see in this book the mouse has on a disguise a disguise is something you can put on your face to make you look different and he put the same thing on the strawberry to make him look like a real person quick there's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from a big hungry bear do you think it's to hide it under a tablecloth let's find out and see cut it in two all right, Miss Kate has also cut her strawberry in two, so hopefully we'll be safe from the big hungry bear. Oh, and then it also says that we need to share half. So if we have one half and two, then we need to give the other one to a friend. Here, friend, have a red ripe strawberry piece. Miss Kate's going to eat hers now. <coughs> Mmm, well, I have a strawberry. Oh, that was so good. We both ate it up. Yum! 
Now that's one red ripe strawberry that the big hungry bear will never get. The end. Do you notice that the little mouse has the top to a strawberry as his hat? How silly is that? Thank you so much for reading my strawberry book with me. That strawberry book we got introduced to that book at my house through Miss Debbie from preschool. We love the preschool and we love all that the teachers have taught my family. And I hope you enjoy everything that we're trying to teach you on our staycation. Now, it's springtime and I've picked strawberries and maybe you can too. But maybe if you don't go pick strawberries, maybe you can plant a garden. Have you seen Miss Hannah's garden? Miss Hannah has planted a garden. Miss Kate has planted a garden. I wonder what other teachers have planted gardens. I look forward to hearing if you've planted a garden too. Now I'd like to pray because I miss praying with my dear preschool friends. So close your eyes and I'll say a quick prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for our preschool friends. Thank you for the wonderful teachers that have come before us to teach kids and that also teach the kids now. Thank you for all the wonderful resources that we have to teach our children while they're on their staycation. Lord, thank you for spring. Thank you for the beautiful weather on our staycation. I feel so lucky that we've had so many beautiful days. Lord, thank you for the crops like strawberries that we get to enjoy. Lord, finally, thank you for the gardens and all the growth that comes in the spring, which truly is new life and a blessing from you. Lord, protect us, keep us safe, and let us have a good week to come. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Miss Kate loves you and misses you so much. Have a strawberry for me, but don't let the big hungry bear get it.